Hi everyone, James here. This is a look inside the box review of the 172nd scale Armour Hobbies expert set of the Hawker Hurricane Mark 1. So on the the front of the box is a very nice painting, if you like, of two hurricanes being scrambled off of a grass runway. It's, it's quite nice. It's a very nice picture. It has the contents there, a piece at the top saying what's in the in the uh, the kit. Again, turning the box on its side is the box art picture again, a English version and another language of the set contents. And then the other side is the, the warnings and then customer care and the, the website. So in the box up comes in one bag. You get the plastic instructions, photo etch and masks and then the clear part for the canopy. And decals also. So we will look at the plastic first. It's the first sprue, it has the fuselage house, uh, lower and upper wings, control surfaces, the landing gear, the multi piece prop, I think there's two variants, and then some very nice cockpit interior, side walling and detail also. So the top half of the wings, there is uh, no flash, detail is crisp, it's recessed panel lines, one landing gear only out, the two versions of prop, blades, Radiator um, housing or cowlings, if you like. The side walling for the cockpit. It's the lower half of the wings. And the two fuselage halves. Again, some very nice detail. Just see the the ribbing effect coming through there on the, the rear of the fuselage. The metal work on the front. That's the first sprue. The second one is again three variants of uh, nose cone or spinner cone the rear fin and then the wheels and seat So the canopy next it is crystal clear. It's very nice, nice detailing. You could if you wanted to make your own masks as the the framing is quite thick. So you can get some nice uh, crisp edges. 
doing your own, but it comes with masks. There is two, I think there could be slight variations. You have the landing lights in some of the various parts. That's the clear parts. So next is the photo etch. You get uh, seat belts, instrument panel, some more what looks to be copper interior, side walling, and then various uh, trim and elevator wheels. Also, that's quite nice. And the masks as well for the canopy and the wheels. Moving on now to the decals. They're in good register. Slightly thick, but that's okay. There is uh, three different colour variants. Uh, as to what for, I don't know. Uh, I did forget to mention on the back there is uh, options for four uh, Hurricane Squadron codings and registration numbers, which are here. Oh, on the slight shiny side also. If you're going for the matte look, you may need to matte these down as well. And the common data and then decals for instruments also. Moving on, moving on to the instructions. At the top there is warning and read before you start and below that is the brief history of the hurricane and then some technical data. Then you have the uh, the sprue parts diagram, the clear parts, the decals, masks and then phaser wedge and then suggested colours and here they're telling you to use attack of hobby paint some more assembly symbols the company's address and then the masking indicating which piece of mask goes to which part opening the page build step one is build steps one one, two, and three are the assembly of the main landing gear wheel wells and adding the landing gear oleos. Steps five is then gluing the lower and upper halves of the wings. Steps Four and seven here are four, seven, six, and eight. Sorry, is the assembly of the cockpit. It's telling you here to remove the compass and then the middle piece of instruments to replace it with some photo etch. And again here, telling you, telling you to remove the plastic detail and then adding photo etch also. Over the page, still steps 9 and 10 are still adding the cockpit interior and then the cockpit floor goes on to the 
the middle or the upper wings here. 11 and 12 are sealing the fuselage halves and then adding the the seat for the cockpit also. 12 is adding the wings, fuselage and control surfaces. Over the page, st steps 13 is adding the landing gear, doors and wheels. 14 is building the radiator. 15 is a very nice option here that I have been recently been doing is cutting the navigation lights and making my own clear part out of sprue and sanding it back and polishing it clear. Here you get an actual clear part to replace which is really nice. 16 is adding the radiator and then possibly the oil cooler, I'm not too, too sure on that. The step, lighting light lenses and exhausts. Moving down there is two options for the spinner and prop. 17 is the de Havilland option and then 18 is the Rotal. 19, 19 is the assembly or attaching of the prop to the fuselage and again 17 or 18 is your two options. 20 is adding the canopy and various photo etch parts to that and that is the full 20 assembly and then you have the four decal options it's the first one I believe three of them are Battle of Britain this one that is August 1940 option 2 which I'm going for this is 24th of August 1940 this pilot became the only one day ace in the Battle of Britain which is quite cool it says down there it's a brief history of the the aircraft and the pilot also so what I'll be doing. Option three is another Battle of Britain decal option. And then the last one is an Ethiopia option that is 15th of March 1941. And in here with the decals I've shown you is a slightly different colour, more orangey than red for the fin flash and the randles also. So that is the Armour Hobby 172nd scale expert set of the Hawker Hurricane. Thanks for watching.